Hello, John here. This is a video response, video reply to what my laptop at the site here. Herbie asked a blow seven, and it's ten gaming questions. I thought it'd be a good idea to video reply to someone in the retro gaming community, and also to give you guys in the community uh, a chance to know a little bit more about me. So, as I've said, I've got my laptop here with the uh, ten questions, and I've got. What you're see well, what you're not seeing is my my professional recording setup here. Right. So the first question is, who is your default Mario Kart character? Now, I've not played many Mario Kart games. In fact, the only ones I've played are on uh, Game Boy Advance and the DS. So. I suppose it'll be, as I always, picked Mario. Yeah, Mario. <clears throat> What's the worst game? Number two. What's the worst game I've spent the most time playing? That would be Last Battle on the Sega Mega Drive. Now, the original version, Octo no Ken, or Fist of the North Star, is a much better game. Uh, it was still pretty difficult, but Last Battle was just incredibly rubbish, but me and my friends played that game for ages and never got very far in it at all. Question number three. My biggest hobby outside gaming has to be, and if you're just new to my channel, you'll probably guess it already if you've just had a quick browse down my videos list. It's collecting Transformers. Mainly Transformers like this, which is the their masterpiece line, their premium collector's line and other lines that are based on characters from the original animated series way back in the 80s. <coughs> Question number four. Do you tone down your accent for YouTube? Eh, no. Eh, question number five. An interesting fact that the gaming community on YouTube don't know about you. I've never owned any Nintendo consoles apart from the handhelds. I do have the Wii, but I don't really count that as a proper gaming console. <coughs> Question number six. If money wasn't an issue, would you collect everything? Initially, to start off with, I probably would, yeah, but you get bored if you can just buy everything. I think half the fun of collecting is having to save your money with your, with your hard earned work and looking forward to buying it and keeping up that momentum of interest until you finally have it in your hands. Then the kind of the interest wanes after a while and it gets put in the shelf or played to death and left. But uh, to answer the question, yes for a while but then no I would stop. Number seven. Question number seven. Are you a collector or a gamer? I would say I'm more a gamer. I don't just buy games to have on the shelf and show off. If I buy games, much like my Transformers, I buy them to play around with. Definitely. <coughs> Question number eight. Will you encourage your kids to game? Yeah, the option will be there for them. Certainly we've got quite a lot of retro consoles in the house. The um, first child is due in a month-ish time. Six weeks I think it is. But So that's obviously like you know a few years down the line. So The option's there and it'll be offered. But I want you know, go, oh, you must play this. You must play this. Oh, you have to play this. Not up to them if they want to play the consoles or not. Question number nine, will you be making YouTube videos in five years time? I'll say yes and if I'm still interested in enjoying making, editing, producing the videos then yeah, I mean you can't predict that far down the line when it comes to sort of online media because we don't know if YouTube's going to be there or if it's going to be replaced by something else but if it is and I still enjoy the videos, making the videos, then yes. 
Right, number 10 is shout out to three YouTubers. Well, if you're not taking sort of semi famous YouTubers, like you know, the usual, like your Ashens, your Angry Video Game Nerd, people that are sort of lesser known, I would gonna have to pick. Man, I suppose I'd pick my. <laughs> no, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> because the ones I'd pick would invariably cause an argument. So I'm going to have to leave that one blank. Yeah, so it's just uh, a quick video answering those questions. And uh, questions, video response, you know the drill. For Herbias007. And if I'm feeling brave, I may put a link to three YouTube YouTubers that I like in the description box. See you later. Game over!